So for number 64, um, we want to determine whether the sequent sequence defined as follows is convergent or divergent. And so um, they give us here a recursive formula where they tell us the first term, A1, is equal to 1. And so they tell us how to get from the next term. If we, for A1, it tells us how to go to A2, right? A n plus 1. So we have here that A2 is going to be equal to 4 minus the previous. Uh, so 4 minus 1, that will give us uh, 3. And so A3, if we go to the next, is going to be equal to 4 minus the previous, right? So if we were at A2, A n plus 1 is A3, is equal to 4 minus A2. So uh, 4 minus A2, so 4 minus 3 is is equal to 1, right? Actually, I'm going to put this side by side. 1. Uh, a4 is going to be 4, 4 minus the previous, so 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. Um, a5 is going to be 4 minus the previous, so 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. A6 is equal to 4 minus the previous, so 3, and so on and so forth. So we can see here that this basically oscillates between 1, 3, 1, 3, 1, 3. So um, this sequence here for uh, n is greater than 1, beginning at 1, this is divergent. Because it doesn't actually get closer and closer to a specific value. It just oscillates back and forth. So now let's try it if the first term a1 is equal to 2. So now we have that a1 is equal to 2. Um, and so a2, same logic, is equal to uh, the next term here is equal to 4 minus the previous term. So um, 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. And so a3 is going to be 4 minus the previous term, right? So 4 minus a2, which is 2. a4, once more, is going to be 4 minus the previous term here. So 4 minus 2 is 2, and so on and so forth. So for this one, um, we can see that we we can't uh, get out of this value 2, right? Because the whole thing, it tells us it begins at 2, and then the next one is 4 minus 2, which is 2, and then 4 minus the previous one, which is also 2, and so on and so forth. And so we can see here that this actually is convergent, because it just give, outputs a single number. The further that I go, um, that I add more terms, um, I'm still going to be at 2. It doesn't diverge from that. So this one is con convergent. So this just goes to show the, the importance of the starting value, right? For the starting value a1, um, it diverges because it goes back and forth from 1 to 3, 1 to 3, and so on. And for a2, it's convergent because it stays stuck, stuck at 2. So definitely when we have um, a recurrent formula, the starting term just uh, really matters because it defines how the sequence is going to behave.